Rob, thank you. Well, let's dive deeper into those four wildfires in our region that we're following right now. Take a look here. This is where they're burning. To the north, we have the Dixie Fire, that one in five counties, the Bennett Fire in Grass Valley, the Caldor Fire in El Dorado County, which is moving toward the Tahoe Basin. And to the south, we have the Areola Fire. That's where we start this morning. The Areola Fire just ignited yesterday, and it's burned 700 to 1,000 acres near New Malonis Lake. Right now, there's no containment, but there are evacuation orders and school closures that you need to know about this morning. ABC 10 Zach Fuentes will tell you more about that in just a few minutes. But first, let's talk with Brittany Begley. She's at the Bennett Fire in Grass, in Grass Valley this morning. Brittany. That is the truth. So we are in Grass Valley right now. Let me step out of the way. You can see firefighters are still battling the Bennett Fire, which actually happened around 2.33 yesterday afternoon. Take a look as we dig in a little bit deeper. You can see the terrain right there. We still have some hot spots in the area. So here is the deal. I just checked in again with firefighters. They told me they've been very active overnight, but towards the later night they sent firefighters home because they need to get some sleep and they needed more resources and more water. The help is on the way around eight o'clock today. So these guys have been working and women all through the night. So this is the area of concern. Now, if you live in Grass Valley, I just want to kind of give you context where I'm at. I'm at Whispering Pine Lanes, and this is actually near High Noon Products uh, to kind of tell you exactly where we're at. Now, yesterday, 7,000 people were uh, evacuated. That has now changed. You can see uh, if you live near Idaho, Maryland Road East, Brunswick Road South, and East Bennett, you are still evacuated. So this is the concern. Firefighters are headed to the scenes to relieve these guys and women that have been up all night fighting the firefighters. But let's have real talk for just one second. During the commercial break, I saw a retired firefighter come over here to the firefighters and give them coffee and kind of just say, hey, man, how are you doing? We're supporting you. And it just kind of really touched me because in fire season, if you live in an area like Grass Valley, El Dorado Hills, Pollock Pines, anywhere like that, you're always on guard that a fire could happen at your house. And it just really touched me to see them come together after working hours and hours to support them because nice gestures like a cup of coffee go a long way. All right, so here's the deal. Next 30 minutes, if you zoom in, we're watching this fire right here. We were blocked in, so I wasn't able to bring you to that, uh, you know, right now. I'm working my way over there. Of course, I'll stay connected throughout the day, and I'll bring you those updates on TV, online, and social media. Zach. Yeah, fire officials say that the Arola fire ignited near Parrots Ferry Road, north of Parrots Ferry Road Bridge, which is where we're at this morning. As you can clearly see, that bridge is closed to people. People have been trying to come through the CHP, not letting anyone pass. Now, take a look at some of the video that was shot yesterday evening. You see that fire, you see crews attacking it from the air and the flames shooting up thanks to the fuel that is up and down the mountain. We saw some flames on our way up here down in the canyon on our way here to Parrots Ferry Bridge. Now, the Calaveras County Sheriff's Office issued evacuation orders for all of Parrots Ferry Road from the Tuolumne Calaveras County line at Parrots Ferry Bridge to Highway 4. That includes Moaning Cavern and Camp 9 Road areas, as well as east of Red Hill Road to Parrots Ferry Road. We'll keep you updated on those closures and the detours. And there are also school closures. We want to let you know about that's all up at ABC10.com right now. You can also scan the QR code for that information. We'll have all the latest for you on air and online. Zach, thank you. It is 606 and we're continuing our fire watch this morning with the two big NorCal wildfires that we've been following, the Caldor and the Dixie fires. The Caldor fire in El Dorado County is continuing to grow. As Rob mentioned, this morning firefighters are facing strong winds, making the fight even more difficult. Fire officials say it's now unlikely that they'll get this fire out by the end of the month. That was the original timeline. Right now it's more than 126,000 acres and it's just 12% contained. It's been burning for 12 days in El Dorado County and there are still 24,000 people under evacuation orders this morning. Also this morning, the Amador County Sheriff's Office is asking those sheltering at the county fairgrounds to find another safe place that has more resources. They say the site was opened when the fire first started, but it's not meant to house people. You can go to Green Valley Community Church, Evelyn Bishop Hall, Rolling Hills Church, 
or the Douglas County Community Center if you need shelter. Checking on the Dixie Fire now, it's California's largest single fire in state history and the largest wildfire in the nation right now. It's burning more than 742,000 acres across Butte, Plumas, Lassen, Tehama, and Shasta counties. Containment is up to 45%. As we continue our wildfire coverage this season, we're teaming up with the American Red Cross. If you can and you're able, please donate to help those impacted. You can find a link on our website to do that, abc10.com links.